Do you remember the days of dropping in over dance and fighting sweats just mainline energy drinks like this race energy which we have a code down here and a link in the description if you want to check that out uh, back in those days man the FVR was a quick moving beast and it's been nerfed since then but let's take a look at how we can manage that ADS speed and the quick time to kill still in today's current non-meta. So the FFAR is definitely a gun that is most usable within 40 meters inside of that mark. Um, you're really going to be able to hit your shots. The stock posts on the side are just kind of hard to manage um, and they block a lot of your visibility, which means you might want to use a scope. But if you use a scope, then you're missing out on some other great benefits of attachments. Um, but either way, Within 31 meters, you're going to hit for 40 to the head and 27 to the chest, which means 7 total headshots or 10 total chest shots to take somebody down. And mind you, that is if you're hitting every one of your shots, that's what it takes. And the magazine you're going to want to run here is going to be 50 rounds, so basically you have 20% of your magazine to do what you got to do. Past 31 meters, it's still 7 headshots, which is why this gun is going to feel a little stronger out of range. Um, and it is still 10 chest shots, so the damage really doesn't feel different um, unless you're kind of hitting limbs and through uh, objects and things like that. But the gun is going to feel really similar throughout the range. Really, the recoil is fairly moderate. It depends on what uh, barrel you decide to use. There are two barrels that I would either go with. There is either going to be the uh, Task Force or the Ranger. Um, and the difference there is going to be the strafe speed for up close and personal versus if you're going to try to use it out a little bit further and mainline this gun um, along with a psychop or something like that. But the recoil is S-shaped either way, just a matter of what way you want it to go. But as far as my complete loadout goes, um, I'm going with a suppressor, the task force barrel, typically the serpent wrap, and the raider stock, again paired with that 50 round mag. I mean, really, like I said, the FFAR is still decent. But if this video helped you guys out, give it a like. If you like me, give me a subscribe. Have a good one. I'll see you around.